Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Mr. Zaman and today I'll talk about Waist to hip ratio or WHR, stronger predictor of mortality than BMI, shows a study. A recent study conducted on a large cohort of British individuals has revealed that the waist to hip ratio or WHR is a stronger and more consistent predictor of mortality compared to the body mass index or BMI. The research emphasizes the importance of considering adiposity distribution, particularly WHR, in clinical assessments and recommendations. The study involving 3,87,672 participants of British white ancestry utilized an observational approach alongside Mendelian randomization analysis. The participants were divided into a discovery cohort and a validation cohort, with the latter used for analysis. The research aimed to evaluate the link between these different adiposity measures and all cause as well as cause specific mortality, including cancer, CVD, respiratory diseases, and other causes. Aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting? Explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the Medical Dialogues Academy. Learn from industry experts who possess in-depth knowledge and experience in this field. For further details, scan the QR code or access the link in the description box below. The findings reveal that the association between measured BMI and FMI with all-cause mortality followed a J-shaped curve. In contrast, WHR's association with all-cause mortality was linear, indicating a strong connection. Genetically determined, WHR had an even more potent association with all-cause mortality compared to BMI. This association was particularly pronounced in male participants. Interestingly, the genetically determined WHR all-cause mortality link remained consistent across various BMI levels. This suggests that WHR might be a more reliable predictor of mortality than traditional BMI measures. The results emphasize the importance of considering a deposit distribution rather than mass alone in clinical recommendations. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.